Church family, on Monday, we received the disappointing news that due to increased coronavirus cases in our state, our governor has restricted several indoor venues, one of, the, one of them being that churches are not able to meet together uh, for worship. Therefore, for the next week, and perhaps for the next few weeks, we are going to be meeting together um, online. We're not going to have the option of coming down together and worshiping in our church building. Rather, our only option for worship will be watching our service uh, on our YouTube page. Now, there's many ways to access our service. First, you can go to our website, 11thstreetbaptist.org, and at the top of our homepage, there will be a button that you could click, and that will take you right to our weekly sermon. Also, Akila will be sending out an email, as she does every Saturday, and in that email, you will um, see a link to our weekly service. Third, you can access our service by going to our YouTube page, ESBC Upland. If you type that in to YouTube, you will go to our page. Now, I recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube page. If you do, you'll be notified whenever there is a new video posted. Um, so that'll be quick access to our services. Now, our service will be live at 11 a.m. Uh, at 11 a.m., you'll tune in and you will watch Allison, Brenda, and myself in our church building doing our service. The only difference will be that uh, the rest of our church family will be meeting in their homes with their coffee cups and their breakfasts. So uh, that's our plan for the next few weeks, to move back to our online uh, medium, to move back to our services on our YouTube channel. Now, the restriction only pertains to indoor gatherings. So I want our church to seriously consider moving um, our Sunday morning worship service outdoors. Now, there are several benefits to this. First of all, uh, there will be no uh, hindrance to us singing. The issue with singing is when the aerosols that we produce stay in an in indoors in a poorly ventilated room for a prolonged period of time. So if we move outside, we could sing all we want. Secondly, another benefit is for children. Being outdoors will be much better for children. Um, it will be much easier for parents to keep them occupied, and uh, it, will be, it will be a good move for our parents with kids, including myself. And uh, also, it's going to allow us to continue to fellowship and see each other. Of course, we'll still be wearing our masks, socially distanced, but we'll still be able to see one another. And as the coronavirus continues to have waves, brothers and sisters, our community is going to continue to ask their questions. Now, I hope you know, but over the last month, we've had about eight to 10 visitors at our church. So we're making connections with people that we haven't made connections with before. And I think if we continue to meet, we're con we'll continue to have visitors. So continuing to meet together is good on several reasons. It allows us to sing. It's good for parents. It's, uh, it's going to provide an opportunity for us to fellowship, and it's going to provide a continual testimony to those in our community who are, who are asking questions like never before. So we put together a survey that I'd like for you to take at the end of this video that just asks your general opinion about meeting together. Now, if we decide on meeting together, there's a few things I want you to know. First of all, we will do our best to mitigate heat. Now, what are some things that we'll do? First of all, if we move outdoors, we want to move our service from 11 a.m. to 9 a.m. Secondly, to mitigate heat, we're thinking of ways to shade our courtyard. And third, of course, we can meet, you, you could sit in the sidewalks in our courtyard that are already shaded. Fourth, we could even get creative and buy something like misters if we needed to be. So there's lots of ways we can mitigate heat. So when you uh, take this survey, uh, consider those things, that your church leaders are thinking creatively about how to meet outdoors well, to how can we meet outdoors and protect health? How can we meet outdoors and mitigate heat? 
how can we meet outdoors and continue to cultivate fellowship? So church family, if you would please take this uh, survey uh, so that we can know your desire about meeting outside in our courtyard as compared to remotely. Of course, we will continue to offer both platforms if we decide to move outdoors. But right now, we only have available the online platform. If you guys would like, in the next few weeks maybe, we can begin to offer an outdoor service as well. But in order for us to prepare for that, would you please take this survey um, now? Church family, we love you so much. We're praying for you. And God is sovereign even over this coronavirus. And he is working this out for our good and his glory.